The Jason and Alexis podcast is brought to you by our friends at Sears Imported Autos, serving four generations of happy returning customers. Sears Imported Autos is just 10 minutes west of downtown on 394 in Minnetonka. More information at SearsImports.com. I need service. Like a refill on your drink? Or some more dipping sauces? No, goobers. I need service on my car. Oh, okay. But I still want a refill on my drink. Well, I'm sure the professionals at Sears Imported Autos can help with that because they literally do everything for you. Yeah, I've heard you mention that. Didn't Colin just take his car into the service department at Sears? He did, and it was amazing. And we've owned a few car brands. We've been to a few places. But the service at Sears was beyond. They gave him a free Mercedes loaner while his car was being worked on. <laughs> Oh, fancy. Oh, absolutely. And obviously with COVID, safety is so important to the family at Sears. If people request, the service pros at Sears Imported Autos will pick up your car, perform the repairs, clean, disinfect, and get it back to you safe and sound. And I must say it feels so nice and it gives you that great peace of mind. I know some places make it a pain to schedule an appointment. How is it at Sears? So simple. No horrible phone trees. You can schedule an appointment right online at SearsImports.com. No wonder Sears won Best of the Best from Mercedes in 2018 and 2019. To me, they are fabulous. No, no, no. No, Fibulous, every day, every year, for over 55 years, serving four generations of customers. And let's just say, very few can say that. Sears Imported Autos, 10 minutes west of downtown Minneapolis on 394. And online at SearsImports.com. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the 7 o'clock hour of Jason and Alexis in the morning, live on my talk 107.1. And live at the Minnesota State Fair, where it's a balmy 47 below zero. It's freezing! I'm Jason Matheson, along with Alexis Thompson here at our My Talk booth. And back at the ranch, Kenny and Dawn, warm like a little bug in a rug. Uh, we're going to do a, up. another picture for you guys in contrast to what you're doing. Yeah. Kenny just it. doesn't know it yet during the it's commercial toasty. Break. I Love it. Hey, I love these moments. That you know, there was Lex and I were saying this. We had a little sentimental moment. I I, I love these moments, and I'm so glad. That's why the bosses thought for about a half hour about pulling our show from the fair. Uh huh. And I'm like, no. And I had a conversation with Lex. I'm like, no. And you know, uh, the emperor. We're at camp. This is camp. Yeah. The emperor, you know, put the tie in his shirt. <laughs> And was like, I don't know what the value is. I'm like, the value is people do come out. Like, uh huh. They don't know. We've had an audience every single day out here, and there's just a different fun energy. Uh, like Roseanne and Bob. That's right, Roseanne and Bob are here. But there's just a different fun energy, and like, yep. like, look, if we weren't out here, you never would have hitchhiked with the Taco King. You know? No, what I, mean? I wouldn't have, and we wouldn't have been able to bring tacos up here. No. So you're right. Yeah. So I. So I'm. So my point is, I'm glad that once again the executives were wrong. I. You know, I love that. I love <laughs> that they were wrong, and I love that we're uh, out here. Now, uh-huh. s- now so speaking, fun. Speaking of bosses who are wrong 90 percent of the time. Yeah. Um, let's talk about uh, B. Arthur, the hairy hooved, horned hose beast of the never nether regions. Um, <laughs> the nether. Ooh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Um, she texts me. <laughs> so I'm. You know this. Dirt alert here at the 7 o'clock. I have a little conference call with the TV boys to talk about the TV show. Yeah. So I'm talking to the guys about the show, and I get this text message from B. Arthur. Would you like me to read it to you, Alexis? Yeah, please. Dawn Kenny, would you like me to read it? Please, yes, yes. She writes, coldest day at the fair ever, heart. And I wrote back, (laughs) how the F do you know? I said, "How you're warm at home and have never been out here. How do you know it's the coldest day at the fair? You never come out here. Never come out here to the point that on day one when she was out here, she had to ask directions on how to get here. She had to ask directions to get to her own station's booth. She looked at me. She was with Kenny, at, looking at uh, Kenny and Dawn at Garage Logic yeah. at, for their podcast. And she looks at me. She goes, "What are you going to do now?" And I said, "I'm going to go be on Colleen and Bradley." And she goes, "Can I walk with you? I don't know where the booth is." <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> I said, "It's your radio station, oh, lady. Yeah, How do you just, not she's really all weird to me? I thought she was all up in the building in that building and no. all up in the business every day." And I'm not kidding. I think Lex. 
Yeah. Now, I love making fun of her, but you've got to back me up here. I think we could count on one hand the amount of times she's been out here. Over the years or just this year? Over the years, yeah. One hand. I think maybe, yeah, we just need two fingers, I think. Okay. I have one finger. (laughs) Oh, whoa. Um, So, uh, what about, though, the opposite of that is the emperor. Who every time oh I look goodness. up, he's walking he's there, by, taking pictures. And that, did you yes. read that email of him? Oh, that, never mind. Uh, I did. Yeah, it's a thousand pictures it. in there. No, it's just we didn't. About we, we know. I we don't know emails up. Um, <laughs> but it really makes me nervous. What is going on with him I, and the fair? I was going to say because doesn't he love the fair? Didn't he grow up going to the fair all the time? He's but, a fair kid. But Kenny's right. But let's think about it. As as often as not often as we see B. Arthur. It's plus two that we do not see the emperor out yeah, here. Yeah, we never see yeah. him. Ever. You're right. What's going on this year? He is all up on our grill. You have he's... to remember, everybody has a boss. Maybe yeah. he's, you know, trying oh. to impress his boss. Oh, oh. yeah. But oh. what? But Jenny doesn't. <laughs> oh. But that Jenny works. doesn't what? Jenny is his boss, right? But Yeah, but Jenny, Greg, I mean, I don't know Jenny. if he. But he's out here for something. She here. She's been here. Now, I, you know, uh, he's really happy in his emails. He loves it. Like, he's yeah, like, he does. oh my gosh, he I'm so proud. I'm so proud of all this and that. That's the medicine. I'm pretty sure that's the medicine. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> is no. that what we're calling it these days? I, I and then to. he went to a digital academy last night. Did you know yeah. that? One yeah. of our Hubbard oh. digital academies. So he was all day, all day Hubbard, Hubbard all I, day. I have to be nice to him because he did just basically eat the bowl from the he did support the biscuit so i have to be nice to him but i just love b arthur sending me the text is it it's just so cold out there how the hell do you know <laughs> well was that probably something she just saw online no she went out on her balcony <laughs> yeah <laughs> she she went out on her balcony oh, to smoke her pack oh, of it's, Royce. it's yeah. freezing on my balcony yeah. truck driver cigarettes <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I'm, I'm uncomfortable oh. being mean to her these days because she has been extraordinarily nice to me. What? And I don't know why. I don't know if, if the axe is going to fall or if something bad is going to happen, but she has been insanely pleasant to me. Seriously? Yeah, yeah, really nice. And oh. uh, it's really making me is nervous. Is it freaking you out? <laughs> it is. It is because uh, in order to keep me steady and normal, I need to be yelled at. Uh, you know, I get it from Joe, uh, and I used to get it from Amy, and I, I get told what to do with my life from Dan, and, and that's what keeps me on the, the straight and narrow and, and level-headed. Right. And when somebody like Amy starts being nice to me, it, it's like, ooh, what is going on? Why uh. is this happening? Dawn, how has she been to you? Because you're at the building. T- you're in the building too. You've yeah. been seeing her more than Alexis. Uh, she's and me. been really nice too. She's asking me how the Krabby podcast is going. Yeah. She wants to know if she, that if she can help in any way. What? She's um, you know asking oh. me if I feel safe enough to go out to the fair for the podcast. Should we ask mm-hmm. for more she money? Wanted to know. I um, think we should go in and demand a huge, 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 <laughs> huge, are, huge are raise. You, now you're smoking something. She doesn't control yeah. that. No. Oh, oh. Oh, no. <laughs> Hashtag right. above her pay grade. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. no, she's really been um, you know, and then she's like, oh. "How do you feel about going out for the Saturday show?" and all of that stuff. So Yeah, she didn't ask me giving, how I feel about that. She's giving me the choice. <laughs> yes. We know. didn't get that question, we did we? We didn't get that question. Oh. We got, you will be out there. <laughs> she gave you the choice, Dawn. She did. See, yeah. that's unusual. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. Well, here's the deal. We're very uh, low on producers, and she's made it oh, clear to are, all of us yes. producers, like, if one of you goes down, we all go down. <laughs> You you are kind of yeah. a rare. You're like a unicorn. You're yeah, a very they rare want to breed. They protect us from you know being out there very much. So uh, that's yeah. why I'm wearing like two masks <laughs> when you see me. <laughs> I know. Inst- Don- except when I'm shoving something in my face. So. Uh, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. Oh wait. Did you see what Amy just wrote? Uh, or B. Arthur. It's a perfect wrap up to the yeah. segment. Where did Go she ahead, write? Jason. No, Alex. What did she write? What did she write? To oh, us? so she's she's listening, guys. She says uh, that it's an act. You all suck. 
Oh, oh, oh okay. Gosh. There you go. Back to it, Kenny. You feel better? Here, here we go. You feel more at the normal? Top, at, the stop, uh, at the top, he I hate you all, especially uh-huh. Kenny. Uh-huh. It's freezing on my balcony. Dan eats all his meals at the fair for 12 days. He's a weirdo. <laughs> it's an act. You all suck. Okay, thank you, Amy. She's back in order. Oh, no, Dan I feel eats so all much his better. meals at the fair. He She's does. trying to throw shade. Oh. I, I, What's wrong I, with that? No, I, hey, yeah. she's back to normal. That's all we yeah. care yep. about. I feel way better now. Yeah, she's back to being a host. <laughs> you, beast. All <laughs> you all suck. You all suck. Okay, good. I'm just Thank waiting you. for. Love you, B. I'm waiting for my favorite text. Thanks for doing your job. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Seven thirteen. More fun at the fair when we return. Remember the Jetsons when Judy Jetson would call up her dentist on a video screen? I wanted to be Judy. Of course you did. Well, that's good news because you can be Judy. Kinda. With Amy. Dr. Amy Hughes at Hughes Dental now offers a free video consult. My dream come true. All kidding aside, how does that work? Go to Hughes-Dental.com and request a free video consult today. Get your questions answered in three easy steps. Upload a picture of your smile, receive a private video message from Dr. Amy with an action plan. Look it over, and then you can schedule your in-person visit with Dr. Amy. That's so easy. Easy and so important. A smile means so much to folks, and this is a great way to see if a smile makeover is right for you. And there is nobody better than Dr. Amy. She's had years and years and years of experience. That is the reason why I call her the Yoda of cosmetic dentistry. She sure is. She's one of 10 accredited cosmetic dentists in the state. To see before and after photos of actual patients, go to their website, Hughes-Dental.com. And also, don't forget to follow them on Instagram to learn more about their staff and to see the latest happenings from our family at Hughes Dental. And when you call to make your appointment, don't forget to tell them you heard about Hughes Dental from my talk. And now on Jason and Alexis in the morning, a message from our sponsor from like the 70s or 80s. My darling Crystal, I've had this fragrance created especially for you. I think it's as beautiful as you are. Every time you wear it, remember, I love you forever. My dearest Blake, I've had this fragrance created especially for you. I think it's as sexy as you are. And every time you wear it, remember that I'll love you forever, too. Forever Crystal and Carrington, both created to celebrate the love that lives forever. This has been a Jason and Alexis classic commercial. We now return you to our regularly scheduled mediocre radio show. Oh boy. Welcome back, Jason and Alexis in the morning, live from the Minnesota State Fair. Most beautiful day uh, oh, it's yet oh, this God, week. Oh, you guys, it yeah. says it feels like 57. Oh, uh, well, let's try 47. But yeah, sure, sure, <laughs> oh. sure. We'll listen to the meteorologist. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm Jace with Lex. It's misty. Out here. Where are we located, Lex? Uh, we are at uh, Randall and Underwood. Where, Machinery Hill. And where are Dawn and Kenny located? Uh, they are at Hubbard Broadcasting yeah. uh, University uh, on the St. Paul side of the building. Yep. Yeah. Uh, a little entertainment talk. We'll go back to making fun of B. Arthur in a little bit. But uh, did you see, because I know you used to be a big fan, this yeah. broke yesterday Which via one? TikTok. Kate Walsh is coming back to Grey's Anatomy. I did see that. Is this a Whoa. good thing? Yeah. Is I, this a good thing? I think it's a good thing. Yeah, I now again, there's been many years now that I have not, have watched. not watched Crazy Anatomy because yeah. it kind of went through like a slump and then it would back hot, hot, hot. So, I'm have you seen the tweets and the responses? I think people are really happy. It's good to see her. Yeah, people are people were really excited. She did it in a cool way. What's that TikTok trend? Where they, uh, you, do, it's a little fist. They do a little fist dance, the, and they the, answer like, the questions. questions, and then yeah, dun 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 dun, and then they flip their hands up and yes. they answer the question. That's so she she announced like that. Cool. She announced her return because one of the questions to Kate Walsh was, "Would you ever return to Grey's Anatomy?" Mm-hmm. And she went, "Yes." And then the video switched to her in a doctor's uniform. Oh. Yeah. Oh, gosh. What season are they in now? 18. 18. Oh, man. They probably treating her good to come back. Because, correct me if I'm wrong, she spun off into her own show, Private Practice, right? She did. Yes. Yeah. I it, didn't watch that. So. I didn't. My mom liked it. Oh, okay. uh, my mom watched it during her year of living in a hotel. She loved, she really liked Private Practice, but... 
admittedly, you know this, if you yeah. listen to the show with any regularity, I, I don't watch Grey's Anatomy. I've started it because Colin liked it. Yeah. But I was reading the comments, and the majority of the people were really excited she was coming back. Um, I yeah. Think for long-time shows, I, I, see that. I think viewers like when old you know old characters return if they're popular and she was popular enough to have her own spinoff mm-hmm. so it's a little good news for grace fans i was telling lex though i didn't put this on the sheet but speaking of abc yeah girl um there was an it, now i do not read the comments by in my i do not unless it's i don't read comments on instagram stories i don't read comments on facebook i just stay away from all that however abc oh posted on the dancing with the stars account on instagram the dancing with the stars official okay, account I'm they posted a new promo for the new season with tyra and tyra's like this um like this mystic and she's looking to a crystal ball and it's all about tyra the promo is all tyra see they're not doing they're, they're not doing her any favors by doing that no and then the comments i told alexis not Uh-oh. that you should listen to comments you really should not I don't even think, you know, executives, like I have bosses, I won't say who, but they get one email from a viewer and they toss the table and change everything. Anyway, oh, yes. it just drives oh, me nuts. Oh my God. Um, even though they say they don't do that. But anyway, I digress. Um, looking at the comments on the dancing, <gasps> are you actually doing it? Yes. It is 99.9% oh. negative against Tyra. I hope she's not reading this. I hope she's not either. Now, I will say, I, I think she's great. Imp- I mean, I've interviewed her. I, I think she's a nice person. Yeah. I, I must admit, though, not in a hateful way, I do not enjoy her on that show. Um, I think her on there, it's all about her and not the contestants. Yes, it is. And that is that her doing, or is that a directive from the producer's and the team at Dancing with the Stars? I, were they trying to mix it up so much and say, Tyra, do your thing? Is it her fault is what I'm asking? I would say no if she was just the host. But right. she, in my, right, Dawn? She's an executive producer. She was brought on as also an executive producer. So you think they probably don't feel like they can say, hey, let's take the it's, focus off of you for a second. Yeah. I, I don't think, and, and don't, the yeah. mark. And I'm also blaming the marketing folks at ABC yeah. because they're doing her. Don't no, make a, no favors here. They already know that she didn't. She wasn't well received last year. Mm-mm. So why are you putting her front and center in this second season? Put the contestants as front and center. Tom Bergeron was barely in the promos for new. You know, and I I look at these things. I, I'm a nerd. Kind of like I, Alex Trebek. Like you yes. can't be bigger yeah. than the show. No. And they're doing that slow casting rollout. So yeah, maybe have JoJo, have uh, Asuni, the two that we know and love. We are we already know everyone loves them. Yeah. So yeah, have them do a little twirl or something, something and that's it yeah. yeah or yeah talk some cute smack or something yeah there's no there's no need there's there's i don't know but i was pretty yeah. not shocked but i was taken back by the, the hate the hate and the percentage Ooh. of negative compared to supportive i've never seen i shouldn't say that's overly dramatic i've rarely seen that type of disparity of uh, 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 yays to nays it's pretty bad i think abc has a problem on that they should what they should have done too not just with with the tyro situation they should have shelved that show put it on the shelf for a while let it percolate let people miss it grow some new stars because we're running out of stars <laughs> we, we say about this every yesterday. season i know oh but no it's just, it's not special anymore Mm-mm. they should have let it rest bring it back get a different host I, tyra's not it Tyra is not the answer. She really is not. So you can see that on the official yeah. uh, Dancing with the Stars um, Instagram account. And I wouldn't look at it if I were you because it's just not. It might make you say it. Yeah, it yeah, does. It did it's, just the little scroll that I did. Yeah. The it, one thumb scroll there. I was like, ooh, yeah. D. It, it reinforces that the Internet is just a horrible place. <laughs> Do you think that um, yeah. it's a case of um, her being surrounded by yes people? And no one is actually telling her this isn't a good look. 
Maybe. I yeah, mean, you know I'm how wondering. it gets where sometimes it's like, uh oh, too many people are saying yes to Mariah and now she yep. looks stupid. <laughs> yeah. No, Dawn, probably absolutely. And Tyra's probably a really sensitive person. Yes. I think she's Don't a good you think? Yeah, she seems like a great person. She's and great. maybe she does. just yes. not she doesn't have anybody going, let's be real here. That's not the yeah. problem is they are misreading that show. That show is not a host front forward show. Yeah. That now there are shows like the Tonight Show is a host forward show. It's Jimmy Fowler. Every all the late night shows are host forward. Yes, meaning the show reflects the the personality. A lot of, of midday shows too. A lot of midday shows. Yep. Uh, talk shows. My show included Twin Cities Live. Those are host forward shows. Mm-hmm. Dancing with the Stars. It should not. Uh, and cannot be about the host. It's about it the contestants. It shouldn't be Tyra Banks dancing with the stars. No. that's what it feels like. No. That is the problem. Not not just Tyra. Not even Tyra. They're putting the host forward. That's not, yeah. you know. Anyway, 727. Mm. Hey, thanks to Chan Hassan Dinner Theaters for presenting our stage. Uh, we really appreciate it. Loaves and Fishes. They're the official sponsor of our broadcast. We greatly appreciate it. Patio Town for giving us the chairs. Uh, that folks are sitting on when they're not wet. Uh, so thanks to Patio Town. We greatly in Connecticut for the water and the lactation station. Um, I brought some That's diapers awesome. today. So, you know, whatever. Uh, 727. Oh. I did, Lex. I stopped okay. and got some diapers. Yeah. Nice. 727. We're going to take a break. We'll be back with Would You Rather next. Feel like I'm going to puke because my dad. And now, a hilarious, and we use that term loosely, dad joke. That's a good one, dad. From Alexis. Did you hear about the man who invented the knock-knock joke? He won the Nobel Prize. <laughs> this has been a dad joke. It's very funny, Dad. Hilarious. From Alexis. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Nobel? Yeah, we get it. We get it, Lex. Okay. Yeah. Welcome back to the winter of our discontent right here. <laughs> it is. Oh, my gosh. Have a great summer. <laughs> Have a great summer, everyone. Mother Nature. Uh-oh. Yeah. Jason and Alexis in the morning on my talk 1071, everything entertainment, everything. God, I hope we have two mics that can robe so we can do the rest of the show from the lactation station. I'm Jace with Lex and uh, out here at the fair. Mm-hmm. Uh, Don and Kenny are back at the ranch, all warm and cozy and snuggled in like a bug in a rug. <laughs> Toasty. Do we only have one roving mic? I don't know. We you need guys to check. Take with, that's a great question. Inside inside check, the building. Yeah, we we should check with Adam and then just invite. There's usually two, Jace. Because we have four folks out here. I got to tell you. Um, yeah, B. Arthur. Those are awesome. B. Arthur loves when we reference the audience, but uh, you know who cares? She's in her bathtub right now, uh, or oh, I don't want freezing on her balcony. Freezing on our balcony. We have four folks out here, Don and Kenny, and and both of the, both couples. Uh, uh, two of them came out just to support us. Oh, they came out early just so to hang with us. How nice is that? Yes. So we should just take all of them into the lactation station and have a big lactation party. You know what I mean? Oh my god! I don't know what that, that means. Really I don't know what that means either. But I'm just saying we Get should the just people all people from the all you can drink milk place down there. That's and you right. We'll just, just all go in milk. there and just have a big diaper party. So. <laughs> It's warm yeah. in there. All right. I'm getting really good at diapering, so. Perfect. Yep. We'll check with Adam and see how many roving mics we have. <laughs> um, it is 734. While we get that prepared, <sighs> let's get ready to laugh, play along. It's Would You Rather. It's time to make a choice. Would you rather. Jason and Alexis present Would You Rather. Oh, okay. Um, how do I reword this one? <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> okay, you know, I'll say this. Here we go. Okay. Would you rather be balding but incredibly fit? Oh. Be overweight. With a perfect head of hair. Well, that's me oh. now, so I want the opposite. <laughs> you want to be balding? Um, yeah, yeah. Okay. Same. 
Totally. I'll be balding and fit. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Just I, shave that hair off. I barely have, you know, I'm, my hair's short anyway now, so. I wish there was a toxin or something, a gel I could take that would stop my hair from growing. <laughs> Your beard grows so fast, I can't even I know, believe it's ridiculous. it. You just shaved it short, like, yeah, yeah. a month ago. This is not And now right. it's like ZZ Top level It's freakish. Yeah. It's freakish. Let's just call it what it you is. You always are combing it, though, so maybe you're giving it life by paying <gasps> oh. attention. Ch ch Kenny. Jeez, you too. Both of you guys what? have hair yeah. at, that any uh, b- the balding man would envy. Yeah, yeah, I do. I have thick. Yeah, yeah. thank goodness. Very thick yeah. hair. Don, what are you doing, my uh, love? I'm gonna be um, portly with great hair. <laughs> I love the word. Portly's another one of those yeah. words. That and homely. I want to bring back homely. Portly is just okay. kind of like there's no there's no animosity okay. or malice in it, really. Portly. No. I'm blocking the wind, yeah. Alexis. Oh, I'm being you. chivalrous here. That was okay. the uh, children's oh. section that thank my you, mom shopped uh, for clothes for Ooh. me. Uh, portly? Yeah, the portly Husky? Yeah. Husky. Yeah, yeah. My mom portly shopped boy. a portly mart for me, too. Yeah, portly Kenny. mart. Yeah. Yeah. Portly yeah. mart. We've got yeah. a lot in common, Jace. Yeah. <laughs> is that the big and tall shop? No, it's for <laughs> short, it's short and wide kids. Yeah. Short Dar. and wide. Dar's like, oh, we can't go to Kmart. we got to go next door to Portly Mart for Jason. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. Okay, here we go. Oh, this is... <laughs> the title of this one is under the demented category, and it, oh. what it, it is. Okay. Would you rather have to eat the same dish for every meal for the rest of your life? Mm, okay. Or eat whatever you wanted, except twice a year, you have to eat a dead animal sandwich. Is it cooked, dead animal? No. It's raw. I forgot to use the word raw. Ew. But I still might pick that. I like variety in my cuisine. Yeah. Every day the same pick, thing. Yeah, I'm going to do dead animal sandwich. Yeah. I just have to plug my nose and chew it real fast. <laughs> I'm trying That's to my just... motto for life. <laughs> <laughs> what, Kenny? Yeah, plug my nose and eat fast. Eat it real fast. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to. I know what I'm going to do. It's just what is the meal that I'm going to have every single day for the rest of my life. Oh, right. Yeah. Chi- chicken. It's Chinese food, right, Kenny? Is that your jam? Kenny, yeah, you and I are Chinese food, right? Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. yeah. That'd be good. I want to dig hmm. deep into that. Like, okay, but just for Chinese food for the four of us, we're gonna uh-huh. okay, we're gonna pause. But this is still Would You Rather. Okay. But let's. We could only have Chinese food. Okay. I want to know from us, the four of us. One dish, Lex, your delivery's here, by the way. Thank uh, you, over here. One dish, what is it for the rest of your life in the in oh. the Asian food category? Chicken chow. Chicken mm. chow main, Dawn? Every day. Uh, as a main course, orange chicken or sesame chicken. Mm. Lex? I got to go with a lo mein. Lo mein? The veggie lo mein. Mine is Panda Express's orange chicken with fried rice. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I, I mean, oh, or fried yeah. can I get a hallelujah yeah. on that yeah. one? Yum. Yeah. yeah. And you know I'm sneaking some pork fried rice in there. Oh, and, yes. and an egg roll. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. we got to because does egg rolls count as an entree? Just give me a plate of egg rolls. For the rest of your life? Yeah, that sounds good, too. Okay. Yep. <laughs> get some gas pills. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> get yeah. some Beano for you. Okay. Yeah. Tums, tums, tums. <laughs> <laughs> Next. Would you rather? It's another food one. Mm. Only eat stuffing for the rest of your life or only drink gravy for the rest of your oh, life? Oh. <sighs> stuffing. Yeah. So yeah. you can't Ooh. have any other drinks? It's no. just gravy? Well, I got to eat stuffing every day then. Uh, yeah. I love stuffing. Uh, so good. Stuffing is a gift so from good. God above. Yes, yes. Oh. Turkey gravy? Oh, I could put that on everything. It's yeah, good, but, but it's, it's just gravy. It's just you gravy, You can't have Kitty. coffee. You can't have no. any liquids. I'm going with turkey gravy. Screw your stuffing. <laughs> okay, get ready to fill up that thermos with gravy. Yeah. 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 I'll pass the we vino. We'll hear it, we'll <laughs> hear it plop, plop out of there and not yeah. drip, drip yeah. like we usually What you do. drinking, Kenny? Yeah. Gravy. Yeah. <laughs> you got to do it hey, gravy. Yeah. hey, Kenny, what's for lunch? Yeah. Gravy. Yeah. Hey, Kenny, what are you guys making for dinner? Gravy. Gravy, <laughs> gravy Olson. That's right. Oh, no. oh, yeah. Here we go. Would you rather... 
have no fingers Ooh. or no eyes. <gasps> Aww. Lex, it's not real, girl. Just don't worry about it. I'd have no fingers. I'd, I'd have, have to choose. no fingers. Yeah, I've had to choose. Think about that for a second, though. I know, but I get like Luke Skywalker bionic uh, fingers. They're making oh, them now. Oh, yeah. And you get, your toes could get real no. crafty. No. Yeah. Girl, no, I... I I'm you not. Use your toes. Yeah, I, I would. Yeah, I would eat with my feet. Yeah, I would paint with my feet. You yeah, know, I've, I'd I hold paint now, but I'd hold this microphone with my feet. <laughs> yeah, I may, I may even I do that eyes. in the next segment. Yeah, I have seen enough. I don't <laughs> need to it. see anymore, but I got to keep touching stuff. If you know what I'm saying. Oh God! <laughs> God. What do you mean, Kenny? <laughs> it means we took a we took a turn down Murphy Purvy Boulevard. <laughs> And that's what why do you want to be touching? <laughs> yeah, perfect way to end it. Let's yeah. wrap yeah. this up. I hope you're happy with your choice. Would you rather? <laughs> this has been Would You Rather. <laughs> when we return with Kenny Touches Stuff, uh, more fun from the fair. It's 742. <laughs> We're going to take a break. We'll be back right after this. Welcome back, Jason and Alexis in the morning, live on My Talk 1071 and live streaming all over the earth at MyTalk1071.com. I'm Jace with Lex. We are reporting live from the Minnesota Fair inside our slightly warmer lactation station. Oh, you're gone. <laughs> Don and Kenny, we've Hello. we've escaped our stage. We can see you. The camera is pointed. Thank you, Adam, for pointing the camera to the lactation station. I can see Jason's red coat. Um, yeah. I can see you in there. Yes, this is great. Is it warmer? Um, it's a little. It actually is. Are you warmer, Lex? I'm warmer. Yeah. Are you warmer? Got the four walls. Yeah, it's it's warmer. You can watch the shenanigans right now. I should say it's streaming live on our My Talk Facebook no. page. Um, but it's. I mean, it's. Uh, you know what it is? We're not getting the breeze. Yes. Don and Kenny, we're not getting the the uh, the, the 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 huge wind up on the porch. Oh, I see. Yeah, that's kind of that's like being Don't, on a, a a ship, you know, trying to get crab, you know. Yeah, like an yeah, because there's only a right. shade in, in to Alaska. block the wind on the one side. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, oh, Brooke is up there. I love that the that we're in here, and now the whole crew is uh, up where we're supposed to be. Yeah. <laughs> now Adam's running back and forth. This is great. Now Jason and Alexis aren't part of the rules of the uh, the tea tent or what do you guys call it? Lactation. Tea tent. Yeah, the lactation. <laughs> Shouldn't you have a breast pump hooked up, the two of you, right now? Um, do well, Lex has it hooked up to me, and we're gonna see if if, if anything happens. Okay. No. Oh. Okay, Jason. I'm ready. Well, I've been ready. Well, I mean, vitamins. These man boobs have to be good for something. <laughs> oh, quote of the min- quote of know. the Minnesota. Did you State hear Lex? Fair. What she thinks I'm like Milky the gay. She's like <laughs> Milky the cow. She's like, should I put a milk pellet in you? Are you gonna have <laughs> crank my tail and have fake milk? Oh my gosh! Let me find that marvelous. I can milky. For you. Hannah would love that for the for the video. We could do that. <laughs> We'll get some fake milk t- pellets from the 4-H kids. Oh, my but, gosh. All right, no. let me hear. This is what we're talking about, if you don't know. Here's Milky, the marvelous milking cow. It's fun to milk her, gonna do it right now. She drinks the water when we pump her tail. She's raising her head, it's milking time now. Her pretend milk is a feeling the pail. She drinks water. Milk. Milky the marvelous milk cow. Milky the marvelous milk cow with pretend milk tablets. She's new from Kenner. <laughs> See? <laughs> Gosh. I did play that for like three days and then it got real boring. You only it played it for real three boring days. After a... I thought you were totally into it until you ran out of pellets. Well, I did. No, I. It, that is the truth. I I stopped playing, and then Dar couldn't find the uh, any more replacement pellets. So then, me being a kid, I went in my room and I took real milk yeah. and I put it in her. I put <laughs> that sounded gross. I put the. <laughs> I put it in her. I put the fake. Let me re- restructure that sentence. I put real milk in the fake cow. Yeah. I lifted up her tail and poured it in her butt, 
And then mm-hmm. uh, I couldn't get all of it. I couldn't that's, get all of it out. That's not and it an ended entrance. up sitting in there in my closet. <laughs> no. And it spoiled. And my mom came in uh, one day and she's like, oh, my goodness. I was at school. She's like, what is this? And she went in there and there's Milky. <laughs> there's Milky, the marvelous, smelly cow. And yeah. I was grounded. She's like, what do you do? So, yeah. So then Milky was taken away. She's like, there's no way we can clean this. There's no way we'll ever clean this enough to make this smell good. So she threw Milky away. Oh, my Very gosh. sad. So well, you were done with it anyway. I was kind of done with it. I mean, there's only so many times you can pump the tail and, like, you know, milk the milk the fake teat. You, you know, know what, it's like, Jason? I am surprised. At the, I'm shocked at... Um, the price of this on eBay, you can get one. I mean, it's obviously opened. Milky the Marvelous Milking Cow, Kenner, 1977, with the box, $50. You just have to pay $26 shipping. But, you know, I mean, there's others here for $20. Uh, you know. Lex, well, Lex, have you ever seen a Milky come through your store? Yes, I have. You have? You've sold a few Milkies? Okay. That's right, you did. Yeah, I can't. Yeah. How, do you have, uh, is Lex? It, is Lex in a cave? It's just we don't hear she, her. Yeah, her is mics. she in a box? Oh. Does she? Oh, she? you can't hear? Oh. No, we just hear well, her through your this mic. experiment is failing anyway because <laughs> it's really not that much warmer because we have to leave the door open. So we're going to come back up anyway. Lex, should we, we, should we run back up? Yeah. Here we go. Kenny, Dawn, we're running back into our porch. I can't wait porch. to see you guys. Oh, there we're you escaping. Go. <laughs> we're escaping. We can close the, the uh, lactation door. I forgot to do that. Anyway, we're coming. Give us a second, Dawn. We can't hear you yet. It's okay. We can't hear you. Oh, we're okay. returning to the My Talk stage. Well, that okay, was here fast. we go. Wow. There we go. Great job to Adam setting all of that up. Yes. And Lex has, you, Adam. Lex has winter clothes We're back. on. She has, she has okay. a sparkly, um, <laughs> what do you call it, Kenny? An ear brassiere on. Ear brassiere. Yes. She does have an ear brassiere on. Yeah. It's that was a, That was marginally oh, yeah. warmer. Yeah, because we were sticking our head out the door and big drops of rain were coming down. Okay. How are you not cold? I'm looking at the we audience. Got There's three beautiful ladies wearing shorts. I really just want to buy you t shirts yeah, to wrap freezing. around. Wow. Yeah. Oh my goodness. They're out here. They're in shorts. I feel so horrible for them. Hopefully it'll warm up like this afternoon. You guys will be like <laughs> they'll be the championship folks and not us. Hopefully it'll warm up in about five hours. Yeah. <laughs> I mean Hey you guys the- maybe can you do me a favor? Anything? Since I'm yeah. not coming back out there. Can yeah. you bring me a Hey Girl Hey shirt? I know you're real cold right now. Oh, but yeah. Back oh, yeah. to the station because I didn't get mine this year. Yeah, we'll get one for you. Okay. And that's a perfect time for me to do the shameless plug. If you can't make it out to the fair, don't worry. And you still want your Hey Girl Hey shirt. Uh, Brooke and the team have set up an online store. Uh, you guys have been asking for it for years. Now it's up there. Um, how much are the shirts, Lex, on the online store? $25. That's right. And that includes the shipping. That includes the shipping. It's 20 bucks here. So especially if you have that, you know, you have every other Hey Girl Hey Complete your collection or continue your collection, not complete it. Our show's not ending, uh, God willing. But anyway, oh. um, yeah, I shouldn't say complete your like, collection. Uh, yeah. Do you know something I don't no, know? No, I don't. <laughs> no, I don't. Um, uh, so continue your collection. Get the Hey Girl Hey shirt and uh, just go to mytalk1071.com and you'll see the online store. Brooke has made it really easy for you guys to order it. So, and they'll ship it right out to you, right to your house. So mm-hmm. if, you, if you can't make it out, they ship internationally. Get all the shows. Do they ship what? Internationally. Uh, let me ask. Yeah. Oh. Probably okay. not. She's I'm literally going not. to ask right now. I mean, now. they won't even ship things to Wisconsin if oh. people win something. Oh. So. Oh. No. 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 Oh. No. No. Oh. no. No. That's a Don't big no. Don't put that in the universe. I nope. apologize. So our friends Just in France can't Jing get Lee, one. Tony Tindillier. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, Tony. Yeah. We have a couple international. Um, we have a couple international listeners yeah. so sorry guys sorry don you know what these oh. two hoople heads need they need that shipping blanket that you brought out yesterday <laughs> yes to the gl booth that's right she's got this big moving blanket in the back of her car that she brought out to keep her legs warm yeah it's <laughs> oh. a furniture blanket i'm always prepared you know i've got my doomsday prepper my uh bug out bag in there i've got that yeah. blanket i gotta you know everything i need to survive oh i well, need a bug out bag 
I, every time you bring it up, I, I think I, I haven't done that yet. Let's make you one. Yeah. yeah. Lex, I, yours would be full of yarn and needles and <laughs> weird funky scissors. and. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sounds yeah. great. Lots of yeah. projects to do. And I got mine, all my whips in there. Jason, and mine yours. would be sponsored by Grey Goose. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> I was going to say. Yeah. <laughs> we don't be quite the pair. Jason's bug out bag sponsored by Kettle One. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to need Kenny's and Dawn's because they got the real deal yeah. with the knives and duct tape and stuff. Hey, vodka can make a good antiseptic. <gasps> That's so, true. If we get a scrape. Mean? But girl, I ain't giving or it gash? to you. You better be really bleeding. I ain't sharing my vodka. If You you better have a big gash. If it's a small oh. one, you're, you're bleeding. I'm not Just helping deal. you. Let's right. move on from that topic. <laughs> we'll be right back. Having football down to a science starts with having sleep down to a science. Because the better you sleep, the better you show up on game day. That's why NFL players rely on the Sleep Number 360 Smart Bed. It senses their movement and automatically adjusts to keep them effortlessly comfortable. And it tracks vital sleep metrics like average heart rate and average breath rate, so they know exactly how well they slept. It tackles the science. All they have to do is sleep. Don't miss our Labor Day weekend special. Save 50% on the new Sleep Number 360 Limited Edition Smart Bed, plus free premium delivery when you add a base. Ends Labor Day. Sleep Number, the official sleep and wellness partner of the NFL. 